thank you most sincerely for all the beneficial work that you have done over the past three years as Lord Proud. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth. We now install you in the style and title of the Lord Proud of St. John Grand Proud. I, Mark Raymond Compton, a member of the Order of Australia, and a bailiff bearing the cross of our most venerable Pope, to pay homage to you, my Lord Grand Prior, for this my tenancy and deputyship for the good governance of our Order, which I hold of you and of our Sovereign Lady Queen Elizabeth. I call upon you all to rise and salute the Lord Prior of our most venerable Order, we pray for your servant Mark, whom you have called to the office and work of Lord Prior of this Order. Grant him wisdom skill and vision to see your will and the courage energy and desire to fulfill it that the poor may be served the faith proclaimed and the peace of the world increased to your glory and in the name of jesus christ our lord it is good to reflect on what a marvelous organization we have in our order ordinary people doing extraordinary things in so many places around the world i'd like to briefly discuss three themes that we might all reflect on and incorporate in our own journeys within St. John. These themes are respect, relevance, and renewal. Our foundation in the Christian faith, and that we are a crown order of chivalry, are to be respected by us all. It is important to emphasize that we actively welcome people of all faiths or none, and we dedicate ourselves to the care of others, irrespective of their beliefs or ability to pay. Our membership should be representative of the communities we serve, and our leadership should be representative of our membership. In this context, I commit significantly to increasing the percentage of women on the key governing bodies of the order over the next year. Suffice to say, diversity and inclusion will be a key priority for me during my term as Lord Prior. I was especially pleased to be able to request that younger members play an active and important role in today's ceremony, and I thank them all for their contribution. We are custodians of the order for just a relatively short time in its history. However, that still brings significant responsibility to ensure that we build strong shoulders to stand on for those who follow. Ongoing renewal of our organisation is crucial. Spending time reflecting on who we are, what we do, what is the future, how does the community view us and how do our members see us are all important questions to ask on the renewal journey. To all St John people, as your Lord Prior, I offer my boundless gratitude and appreciation. Through your work, you make the world a better place each day and you inspire me every day. I know that the love and support I've received is reflected in the stories of all St John people. So to all families and other loved ones, thank you for supporting your loved one to do the things she or he is committed to do for St John. I continue to commit myself in the service of our Lords, the sick and the poor, and I commit myself to the service of the Order. I sit at the feet of our members, learning and admiring each day, and I hope that I can not only lead the Order as Lord Prior, but also use my position to trumpet the marvellous work of our order and its members across the world, work done for the faith and in the service of humanity. Thank you very much. Thank you.